And you can also watch our forecasts on our YouTube channel and something you'll want to keep up with the next couple of days as we have a good chance of showers and storms as we get into Wednesday. Not tomorrow, though. We have a little while to wait, uh, but the clouds are certainly starting to filter in. We're going to get breaks in the clouds tomorrow, though, so it won't be a gloomy day or anything like that. You'll just notice more in the way of cloud cover than we had today. And here's the main system. It has produced 13 reported tornadoes. Of course, none of them have been assessed yet, but some of the video uh, really indicating that this has been a significant tornado outbreak for Texas. And then that same system is going to be coming in and producing a very strong thre threat of tornadoes in portions of Mississippi and Louisiana during the day tomorrow. Now, we're not going to see as big of a tornado threat, but it's not going to be zero for sure. And some strong storms will be possible during the day Wednesday. Uh, right now, though, it's cooled down into the 50s for the most part in the upstate state. Pretty big difference here between Lawrence at 51, 63 in Greenville, mid 50s up in Asheville and 49 for Waynesville. So it's cooled down for the most part, still fairly mild in, Green, in the Greenville area, uh, but it will be cooling down much more tonight, getting down into the 40s. So you'll want the light jacket early, but won't need it for very long. No rain jacket required in the morning, but you'll want that Wednesday morning for sure. 40 in western North Carolina. So here's how the next three days play out. Tomorrow, actually not that bad. The breeze will pick up into Tuesday night, and then we'll be looking ahead to those heavy showers and thunderstorms starting in the morning and even into the afternoon afternoon on Wednesday and then a nice clearing for Thursday. Just a little cooler with highs in the 60s, uh, but sunshine will return. So good news for your spring break. It's just one day. It's Wednesday. That'll be tough to do much with the kids outside. So here's a look at the rest of tonight. Just some clouds and into Tuesday. Uh, can't rule out a sprinkle tomorrow, but for the most part, uh, we're going to see mostly clear skies, maybe a couple showers in the mountains into your late evening. This is 10 p.m., so about 24 hours from now, we'll be looking at cloudy skies. Here comes the heavy rain, though. Really doesn't establish itself over our area till about 6 a.m. And this area not expected to be severe. Still could get some thunderstorms with it, but the main uh, the, the winds and the di main dynamic with the system is going to be a little bit to our west. Uh, so we'll be waiting on that to swing through. But the good news about this morning rain it actually helps to keep us a little bit cooler, a little more stable, so that when those storms try to fire up, they may not pack the punch that they would have before. Uh, this particular model keeps things pretty muted, pretty calm in the afternoon, but there are some models that show more in the way of storms developing. So it's something we're going to have to watch closely as um, there's going to be a lot of energy with this dynamic system from the west. This is tomorrow. Bullseye from Jackson to just north of New Orleans and extends up into portions of Mississippi and Alabama. This is where, again, another tornado outbreak is possible. We are not included in a severe weather risk for tomorrow, but for Wednesday, Wednesday, we're in the slight risk, which is this yellow color, uh, which is a lower end risk, but just means we need to be on guard and a few strong storms are possible and can't even rule out tornadoes. Heavy rain, though, in the morning on Wednesday with some thunder. Afternoon storms, the midday to the afternoon would be the time we have to watch for those stronger storms. Damaging wind and even a small tornado threat will be there, so we'll be on guard for you throughout the day. As we go into Thursday and Friday, mostly sunny and Nice highs in the 60s and 50s in the mountains, so a little bit cool, but not too bad. We'll stay in the 60s for highs in the upstate and then this weekend keeping it dry, but overnights getting very chilly. So really, it's only Wednesday. We have to deal with those storms. Otherwise, not a bad spring break week setting up. Of course, you'll want to check in with the morning news from 430 to 10 a.m. We'll get your latest weather and traffic together every 10 minutes.